Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Deputy Chairman of Sandals Resort International, Adam Stewart, says the new AC Marriott Hotel will be outfitted with futuristic technology. Mr. Stewart says the hotel has been designed to facilitate electric cars and artificial intelligence. TVJ's Andrew Laidley tells us more. A $55 million investment positioning Kingston among the top city tourism destinations in the region. It's an investment involving heavyweight partners like the Sandals ATL Group and the American brand AC Marriott. Deputy Chairman of Sandals Resorts International Adam Stewart announcing that the facilities are built to reflect futuristic developments. We are the first hotel in Jamaica's history to have uh, electric vehicle charging points for, uh, for the realities of what is coming to us in the automotive uh, landscape. We are using technology, uh, called a CalPod technology, where you can be sitting in any part of, your, of, the, of the lobby or in your room or by the pool, and it's sort of similar to an Alexa where you can speak and order a drink, but you don't actually have to speak to anyone. Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett says his ministry will use the opportunity to bring more tourists into the capital. AC Marriott in Jamaica is a game changer in terms of the new type of product offerings that City Kingston will provide. In the meantime, Mr. Stewart is urging investors to adopt the model and style used at the AC Marriott in an effort to transform the hospitality industry. And I really hope this inspires all in hospitality to continue to invest, continue to raise the bar, and uh, under the capable minister's leadership, we'll continue to play a rightful part in Jamaica's fastest growing industry in tourism. The hotel adjoins the ATL Automotive Group's BMW and Mini Showroom on Lady Musgrave Road. It also represents the first non-all-inclusive tourism resort venture for the Stewart family. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. Chairman and, C Chairman and CEO of CAC 2000, Stephen Marston, says his company is set to benefit significantly from Barbuda's reconstruction efforts. He says the business coming out of Barbuda is likely to propel the company five years ahead of its current growth rate. So Barbuda is being reconstructed after the devastation of hurricanes and there's high net worth individuals building, billionaires building houses and we have managed to get a design for two houses thus far and we are bidding on construction and we see that development plan by itself is probably worth as much as CAC's current business over the next three to five years. We go down to currency trading. The day ended with the U.S. dollar selling for $131.02. The Canadian dollar closed the day at $98.99. The pound is now selling for $165.06, while the euro is selling for $151.96. On the stock market, the JSE index gained 1,530 points today, while the junior market index is down 10 points. Among today's winners were Kingston Properties, JMMB Group, 7.5%, Jamaica Stock Exchange, Jetcon Corporation, and 138 Student Living. Now, on the losing side were Cygnus Credit Investment, USD Shares, KLE Group, Fosrich, Everything Fresh, and Honeybun. And that's the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.